Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another vlog and ngayon, I'm gonna welcome you to my channel. Pew! So guys, what is up? And guys, uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for, for you to have notifications about me. Alright? Alright. Okay, so guys, today we're gonna talk about why did I choose this career path and um, how I chose this career path. And it was not easy though. So let's start. Oops. So guys, um, a lot of people are asking me na, Uy, Rashid, bakit? Bakit pagpipiloto ang napili mo? Ba't di mo tinuloy yung pagbabasket mo? Pa pagbabasketball mo? Ganon, ganyan. Di ba ABM ka? Ganon, ganyan, ganyan. Um, guys, I wanna tell you something clear. Hindi ito madali. Pinag-isipan ko talaga tong career na to. Pinag-isipan ko talaga tong course na to. And yes, I'm sure about it. And uh, I'm happy with it. So, uh, let me explain to you why I chose this path. So guys, at first, uh, it started all when I was at grade 12, senior high school, at uh, at at high school, senior high school. So uh, I had this one coach, um, this coach was the best coach that I ever had. Um, he, his hopes for me were very high. So Sobrang taas ng stand ng tingin niya sa akin, uh, abot langit. Pero unfortunately, due to some problems, natanggal siya, kaya medyo nahirapan din ako kasi Yung coach na pumalit sa kanya, walang tiwala sa akin. Tinanggal ako ng playing time, tinanggal ako ng scholar, lahat-lahat. Grade 12 pa yun, ha? Tapos, ako pa yung captain ball nun sa team na Kaya, the end of my grade 12 was a shitty one, I swear. Sobrang sama nung pag-end nung, nung uh, grade 12 senior uh, high school year ko. Kasi, it didn't go according to plan. Kasi, I was planned to play in Manila. Pero, God, gawa ni... Gawa nung coach na yun, nawala lahat. Nawala yung kumpiyansa ko. So guys, sa, isa, sa isang student athlete, sobrang hirap mag-gain ng confidence. Um, so, and so, pag nawala yun, sobrang hirap i-gain ulit. It takes hard work, it takes practice to gain that confidence. And those those trainings, hindi hindi isang araw lang yun, hindi months, years yun, bago mag-gain yung confidence na yun to play at a specific level. If, if you wanna go pro, you have to train for years, years talaga. And um, by that time, uh, na graduate now, lahat lahat, summer, summer of 2016. And nag-try out ako sa mga school sa Manila. And um, nakuha ako sa isang team, pero team B, sa isang school. Pero hindi ko trip kasi yung vibe ng school, di ko trip. And um, after that uh, tryout and training, um, napag-isip-isip ko, ba't di na lang pumunta sa flying school? Tapos, maganda naman yung chances and uh, para di masahin din yung pera ng nanay ko kasi single mom siya and she's working every day to uh, give me everything I need and she's still a single mom and she's paying for my flying uh, tuition which is so hard so I'm so proud of her and um nasa na tayo and yun nagtake ako ng exam sa flying school na yun at sabi ko sa sarili ko if I pass this exam I would go straight to this school and no turning back so yun nakapasa ako and yes nag-aaral ako dun for uh, mag-3 years na and uh, sana third year na ako next year and uh, continue to fly and after that, um, I met a lot of people. So now let's talk first in the basketball uh, part. So dami ko na meet yung mga basketball teammates ko. Sobrang blessed ako sa basketball teammates ko kasi kasi sila yung nag nagpursigi sa akin na na kahit piloto ka, you can still play basketball. You can still go in the pro leagues even if you're a pilot. Kasi even though you graduate as a pilot in a pilot course, it does not mean that you're gonna have a guaranteed job. You still have to grind and work your way to be an airline pilot. Which is sobrang hirap. Hindi siya, hindi siya, hindi siya ganong adale to to uh, just be an Airbus pilot or Boeing pilot or a airlines pilot. So, sobrang hirap talaga. So, um, 
now I am still planning to go pro maybe for one or two years then after that then I would I would continue my flying because why not one thing that my teammates taught me is that and especially my coach kung gusto may paraan kung ayaw magpapalusot that is one thing that stuck in my mind so oh nga no kung gusto mo magpilot and then maging pro basketball player at the same time you can um, my coach told me that um, one player that is John Stockton he is a pilot and an NBA player see which is great because it, g- it gave me hope that I could play in the pro still so yun um, I'm still trying to figure out what I want what I need and what am I supposed to do so um, I just created this vlog so I could make content and try to uh, bring back my YouTube channel and uh, sobrang hirap guys sobrang hirap na yung career path na napili ko sobrang hirap pero hindi ako nagsisise I love this career that I chose pero it sucks na yung the things that you planned out to be it didn't happen pero that's life life happens that way kasi uh, blessings comes in un- unexpected ways so I don't know what to say pero it sucks somehow that I didn't become the player I wanted to be but I received more than I gave I became a pilot and a basketball player which is great kasi hanggang ngayon pinupursu pa rin ako ni nila coach ng mga teammates ko na to be a better player even though I have priorities now that is what we all need we need we need someone or somebody or something that motivates us to do better kasi the, this is the purpose of life kasi if you won't do better then what are you gonna be in the future diba? Yeah, like ko tinatanong yung mga classmates ko okay pag graduate nyo anong gagawin nyo kasi you can you can just sit around and say oh I'm just gonna wait for this I'm gonna wait for that no you can't do that kasi life will hit you and it will hit you hard and I know I'm not yet at my lowest point but it will hit me hard somehow and I gotta be ready for it diba so one thing I want to tell my friends is that they should be prepared in whatever whatever uh, position they might be kasi what if hindi, hindi, hindi ka naging piloto? Ano yung backup plan mo? Diba? You always gotta think ahead. Gotta plan for the future and be at the present at the same time. Kasi if you, if you think about the, the future only and not about the present, mawawala ka. Mawawala ka. Mawawala ka. Mawawala ka. Like, you're gonna get lost and you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have doubts on where you want to be, where you have to be. Kasi, you're only thinking about the future, you're not thinking about the present. Kasi, if you think about the present and the future, you will know where you are. Alam mo yung gagawin mo. May, ma, ma, predict mo. Actually, you can't predict the future, but you will have a plan. And having a plan is like um, 50% of uh, being successful already. Kasi, you have a plan. So, um, that is one thing that I want to tell my friends na you guys gotta be ready. Diba? Always be ready. And now, so guys, nandito na yung mga friends ko dito ngayon. So, magkasabi siguro sila ng tips para sa inyo. So, what's up guys? Ito si Raven, at saka si Al. Hi. Hi. Nakarecord kayo? Mukhang mong patatas. Pasensya na dahil sa COVID. So, guys, ano, anong tips mo ibibigay nyo sa aspiring student pilots? Uh, sino muna? Si Raven o ako? Kahit sino. Ikaw muna. Kamera <laughs> siya ako. Uh, so, for those... Lapit mo yung mic mo, Al. For those people who want to be a pilot, all you have to do is believe in yourself, trust in your instincts, uh, never give up. Honestly, the first time I flew an airplane, it, uh, it was kind of scary. And it made me doubt myself. But... Through repetition, practice, and training, uh, my skills became better, and I became more confident in myself. Just believe in yourself always. The best. Get the nun. Kay Raven naman. Kay kailan ba English? Kay ano? Tagalog English. Sige, English na. Message ko para sa mga pilots na nolot ng flags ni Rashid. 
Um, siguro kung siguro, malaga siguro, para sa pagiging pilot, pilot or beginner ko lang is kung nakaroon ng tamang at mga sa pagiging piloto. Like, sabihin natin, meron tayong mga kakarapin ng mga challenges sa pagiging piloto. And pinsan, pwede tayong mga discourage sa uh, mga harap natin. Pero ang mahalaga is dapat siya tayo pag-aspire. Uh, kasi nga, kasi nga, kasi nga, kasi nga, kasi nga, wala na yun. Palagan na, lang yun, like, even hiram, but hindi lang, spark na lang, kasi, palang araw, malang na, yung gusto mo, Tama. So guys, yun yung like ko sinasabi sa inyo na, practice gains confidence. Kasi, kung di kayo nagpa-practice, di kayo nagka-try, wala rin. So guys, that is it for today. <laughs> See you guys in the next vlog.